Hi guys, welcome at my channel. Today I'm going to make bat traps because there are major bushfires in Australia and 200 million animals get hurt in the fire. And then I started to follow this Facebook group, uh, Rescue Craft Co. I'm going to leave in the description uh, their name. And they were not asking for money, they were asking for sub goods or for crafters to help and uh, they were asking for a variety of uh, thing in what they needed and then in this video I'm going to make the bat traps and then basically you don't have to ship it to Australia there are hubs around uh, in the US too I am in Canada and uh, here in Toronto there are several hubs who take the donations so uh, let's start make the bat wraps so for fabric you can use uh, tight wave linen cotton flannel or bamboo and um, this fabric is folded and the length is 48 inch this is exactly 48 inch and uh, the width is 10 inch you can see it here 10 inch and then I'm going to leave a quarter inch uh, seam allowance. So let's cut it. And if your fabric is wrinkled, get some ironing done because it's like way easier to sew. So mark the four inch opening for the pillowcase. So one, two, three, four. and pin it around. So here is the fabric and then I start by the opening. I started by the opening, I added a quarter in seam allowance and then I sewed around the panel. A quarter inch. So cut the string so the bad claws cannot stuck in the string and in that opening uh, pull the fabric through and turn it inside out. If your fabric is like fluffy, then maybe um, should iron it to make it uh, crispy, the edges. 
so here is the opening I think I'm going to turn it in like a little bit so it's going to be easier to sew after like that yes I don't know So here I have to put a stitch 4 inch, the opening is here, and 4 inch here, 1, 2, 3, 4, for the pillow. So I started by the 4 inch opening and I take the pin out and I sew a straight stitch. Don't forget to backstitch and cut the string so the bad, ca bad claws cannot cut in the string. And luckily I have stuffing because I was making pillows so I have a whole bunch of leftovers. So stuff your pillowcase and not too firm and uh, not too soft just uh, right in the middle. So after you stuff your pillow, you have your opening of the pillowcase and you push down a little bit of the stuffing and then you make an S edge stitch. So here you go, here is our bath wrap, this is the pillow part and then they put like the little animal here with his claws like that, grab onto it and then they wrap him around like that. Bath wrap. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We made a bath wrap like that. There you go. And now let's make a hundred. <laughs> Thank you.